from Leeds United, the English champions, David Harvey, the goalkeeper, Billy Bremner, number four, uh, Joe Jordan at number nine, and Peter Lorimer at number 17. They're wearing squad numbers, in fact, in case you may be confused. And there are four members of the Scottish champions, the Celtic side, Danny McGray, number three, Jimmy Johnston, number seven, Kenny Dal Dalgleish, number eight, and David Hay, number 11. The three that make up the rest, Jardine from Rangers, Jim Holton from Manchester United, his club colleague, Martin Buchan, failed a fitness test a short time ago, and his place taken at centre-back by number 14, John Blackley of Hibernian. Blackley will be playing in his second full international. Side managed, of course, by Willie Orman, the former Hibs player, who'll be taking the team to the World Cup finals. Well, now the England side. In this, Martin Peters brought back for his 67th international for England. He presumably will be filling the middle of the field, along with Hughes, Bell, Weller. So it looks as if England will play 4-4-2 in this, with Channon, who wears number seven today, who wore number nine in the last two internationals. Uh, Channon wearing seven, and Frank Worthington, who wears number nine today. Those two as the spearhead up front. Bell. And tackled by Blackley, but no foul. The referee weighs play on. Little man with such skill, taking on too many, Bremner supporting. Johnny now. Oh, for Jordan. Jordan then was clear. Fine cross, and it found Jordan by himself. There wasn't enough pressure for, to block the shot. Wants a bit of movement, and he's found Worthington. On that favourite left foot. And he set it up for Bremner. And Shelton had to be so quick. Jordan! Yes! 1-0 to Scotland. Five minutes gone. Wellington gave that to Bremner with his right foot, which is his wrong foot. He tried to flick with the wrong foot. Shelton couldn't save it. Jordan hit it hard. And Peggy couldn't do anything about it. Crowd really warming to this one. Weller. Offside, is it? No. Oh, he's played out anyway. Wellington. Scotland caught then. The defence died. In fact, it didn't matter that he was played on. The linesman's flag hadn't gone up anyway. I looked to the linesman then, before the ball was touched by the Scottish defender, and his flag wasn't raised. Jordan. Don't be just robbed, but now, oh, hey. And he's clear, there's one player, Todd, now the goalkeeper! And the goalkeeper was good enough! Hay found himself with room, beat the remaining defender. The shot was good, the save was brilliant. Peters looking for help, run on the right by Weller, beautiful run by Weller. Awkward again. Kicked away by Holter. Bremner thinks Harvey was fouled. The referee thinks it was perfectly fair. And indeed, it doesn't look as if Harvey was fouled there. He couldn't hold it, but he was under considerable pressure. Half an hour gone. The goal scorer for Scotland, Joe Jordan. Johnston. Play to Lorimer. Field for hands. It's right through! Congratulated. So too is Lama. Jordan and the lot celebrate. The ball crossed by Lama. Appeal for hands. That's Dalgleish. Bremner with the corner. Loose to Lama. Then number nine, Jordan. A piece of sheer magic. The shot by Jordan was snapped right in the top corner and that arm of Shilton just seemed to extend with Harvey and with the kick Peters Worthington fine jump by Frank Worthington couldn't quite get it between the posts 
Challenge gone up on the outside. Pedic's there too. Bell again, number eight. Challen outside. Well, Peters almost stole up then. Harvey seemed to hesitate. The bell, flo bell floated out boards for Harvey seemed to just fractionally hesitate when he realised he couldn't keep coming and get there. But it was enough to put Peters off. Well, the youngster sending the message out to the rest of Glasgow. It's like a semaphore system from the roof of the stand. It's Channon back to Weller. Todd. Channon. Dalgleish. Fine try. And good save, Johnston. And a brilliant save. They don't produce much better in goalkeeping terms than that and it turned out to be unnecessary the first save was splendid the second when Johnston was offside was a near miracle Nish Channon Peters typical Peter, Peters play coming across the line of the defence Peters the shadow as Alf Ramsey used to call him and this is a typical example of Peters floating across from nowhere with a glance just wide and the whistle goes a famous victory for Scotland and these supporters deserve it and so too does the Scottish team Billy Bremner and every Scottish fan and player must believe this gives them some hope now for the World Cup Finals. They can go now on their European tour with two matches to play before the World Cup Finals with hope in their hearts in every sense because this was a fine team performance and the players know it and feel it in every way. So too do the supporters. Holton waves to the crowd and so too do the rest of the Scottish team. Willie Ormond delighted. Johnston signal possibly to the press box, but certainly in the direction of, in that area. And Willie Ormond looks up too.